Defender of Destiny. Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today we're taking a look at the A1 Gunner Zaku Warrior from the series Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. Kind of came out of left field when the announcer's like, really? Okay, I, I like one, but okay. Let's have a look, see what we got. Now, frame on this thing. It's pretty simple. You want the most highly detailed, most highly complex frame you've ever seen? Keep looking. All right, here's just like an interior look. It's pretty simple. Overall, this is a very simple build. Uh, if you're new to Master Grades and you want to pick a, a good starter, this is it. Put the armor on. The armor is better. There's a good deal of lining to go on this thing. Uh, the visor is just a black piece of plastic with a pink sticker on it. You can't remove the top of the head to move the mono eye back and forth. Eh, doesn't look that great. The head movement is very minimal. It's got that huge collar around it that kind of hampers head movement. It can turn to the side slightly, but that's about it. But in terms of shoulder movement, we're a lot better. Uh, in the, we got a little bit of waist give on that. That's pretty good. It's interchangeable hands. Uh, I mean, interchangeable fingers, rather, for the hands. But like I said, shoulder movement, wrist movement, elbow movements, all really solid. Head movement, yeah, not so much. But like I said, big bend out of the elbows. Go anywhere you want. Got some waist movement. Shoulders as big and bulky as they are. They don't really get in the way. Very good joints that pop out in the... The, you know, where the arm connects to the body. Legs, again, very simple, but superb movement on the ankles and the knees and the waist. Feet give you tons and tons of movement. Uh, when I first saw this kit, I was like, that kit looks like a poser. And I was right. That's what this is for. Not the most highly detailed kit. They did do some interesting things, though. When I built the armor around the legs, like, why is this here? Why this big open gap with a hole in the middle? That doesn't make any sense. Well. This is for the two thrusters. Now, one on the inside, one on the outside. The outside one has a little bit of give, but barely moves. It's nice, but it doesn't really move that much. The inside one moves a ton. So you can act like the thrusters are moving out or as or in as you see fit, and it gets out of the way for getting even more movement out of the ankles. That's what I like it for. It, If it's in the way, it moves out of the way. And same goes for that big armor on the front. Ankle movement is excellent on this thing, and everything will move out of the way if necessary. Add on the cables for the legs. It links in to the top and the bottom. The cable comes prefab or pre-ready it is essentially a real grade type material which i'll show you here in a second so you clip the entire length off so you take the one piece off and it's already linked and already ready to move it doesn't hamper posability in the slightest a little tricky to get connected in there because you do it after the armor's on but far from impossible get them all linked up Skirt armor, again, locked in place. It doesn't really swivel side to side, but it will go straight up and down again, allowing for a ton of movement. And balance right now is a non-issue. Everything works just fine. Add on the shield. That is a double ball joint, so it can move anywhere you want. Uh, we also put on the decals. Fairly high amount of decals. All sticker. And it's a lot of decals. Granted, the Seed Destiny and the Seed Kits are known for a lot of decals, so I don't mind that too much. But a lot of pinstriping on this thing. Didn't use every single last decal, but I used the vast majority of them. And for the most part, I really like them. They work well. And as big and giant as that shield is, I thought that would kind of weigh things down. No, it weighs absolutely nothing. It's almost entirely hollow. Like I said, that double ball joint movement anywhere you want. No problems. And no weight issues either. Now the backpack. Yep, this is Seed Destiny. Every Seed Destiny kit has a gigantic backpack, and this is no exception. Giant tank on the back, monstrosity gun with cables, and this look like looks like it weighs a bloody ton. It really doesn't. The gun is big as it is, weighs nothing, and that big tank, of course, is hollow. It's only made of a few pieces, very simple. 
Does it add some weight to the back? Yeah, but it's far from a problem. Accessories. Be machine gun, or machine gun, whatever. Grapple hand, connect in, no problem. Hold it at any angle, move it anywhere you want. Never going to drop it. This is the, it has the ammo on the back that can be attached. I mean, you can change out the ammo from the ones under the shield if you want. B-Max. Very big, cool-looking B-Max with a spike on the top. I actually really like this thing. Again, no problem holding on to it. We'll never drop it. Pose it anywhere you want. Do whatever you want with it. Now, the giant gun on the back. It's a long-range beam rifle. The whole system's called the Gunner Wizard, and yes, that is dumb as it sounds. It has a cable running from the gun to the, I guess, the ammo tank... Energy tank, whatever. It's a metal cable with a like a red shoelace on top. It isn't quite long enough, but nobody's going to notice unless I tell you, which I just did. Oh, well. Now, you can handle this gun just fine. It takes a little finagling to get all the hands connected and move the handles in the right direction and get it just the way you want it and the balance to get right. But it's not very hard at all. It can do an amazing pose with a gun and tons of other things. Here's it with a Force Impulse... Like I said, if you want got one, it goes really well with the other. Final thoughts on this kit. I'm giving this kit a thumbs up. This is a really solid kit. It's not the most detailed in the world. It's not the most complicated build in the world. If you're a new Master Grade builder, this is a great starter. If you've built a ton like me, this will be cakewalk easy. But this kit was designed for one purpose. To be a poser give you all sorts of cool poses with the big giant gun and the beam axe and the, and the rifle and the giant shield and all the wackiness that comes with Seed Destiny kits, all the giant backpack and craziness. They said, okay, we want this thing to be able to balance and do cra- tons of cool poses. Check and double check. Solid poser kit. If you like putting your mass grades in lots of crazy and cool poses, here you go. This is right up your alley. Now, be prepared for the incoming wave of P-Bandai variants of this kit. I mean, there's going to be tons of Zaku Warriors on the P-Bandai store. And yes, I'll probably buy the Mirror slash Lacus one, because... Because, yeah, that's what you do. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please ask them. I will answer them as best as I can. Please stay tuned for more. I always got more reviews coming, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and one more thing. Where the hell did you learn how to shoot? Oh. That kind of makes sense, actually.